Our daily selection of the most interesting and important U.S. newspaper headlines. I'm Pat Kernan. Thanks for joining me at Pat's Papers as we kick it off with the Wall Street Journal. If there is one thing people can agree upon, says the Wall Street Journal, it's that hospital gowns are terrible. Is a kimono-style robe the answer for the future? Maybe there should be a pocket for your iPod in hospital gowns? A group of faculty and students at the University of North Carolina's College of Textiles is looking at ways to update the hospital gown. The LA Times with an exclusive interview with Farrah Fawcett this morning. She is suffering from terminal cancer. Fawcett says the paparazzi has robbed her of her ability to choose when or even whether she shares information with family, friends, and strangers. Are you thin enough to be a Boy Scout? The Chicago Tribune says the organization has recently set height and weight requirements for members who want to participate in what it calls high adventure activities. So a six foot tall scout or volunteer would have to come in at a weight of 239 pounds or less. With salmonella outbreaks or food recalls making the headlines almost every week, the New York Times asks, is it becoming more dangerous to eat? Experts think the high number of food warnings and recalls has a lot to do with better detection of risks rather than uh, with some sort of epidemic, but they also say that there are some recent product inventions like bag salad, which have created concerns that didn't exist in the past. Wondering whether to blame mom or dad for your receding hairline, the Boston Globe looks at the possibility of genetic sleuthing. It may soon be a hobby you can pursue easily from the comfort of your own home. Aggressive enforcement on anti-competitive behavior is back. The New York Times says the Obama administration will restore a tough policy prior to the Bush administration that led to landmark antitrust cases against Intel and Microsoft in the 1990s. At some schools, story time is becoming controversial. The story of stuff is a 20-minute video that looks at America's consumption-based culture. It's not as popular with some parents as it is with a lot of kids. That in the New York Times this morning. As Lost is revving up for its season, the New York Post reimagines the show's plot twists and turns chronologically. So would the show be easier to understand if there was a Lost for Dummies? Would that ruin the show? Joan Rivers proves you're never too old to win a reality TV contest. The 75-year-old entertainer was the last one standing on The Celebrity Apprentice, the finale last night, according to the New York Daily News. And if you were planning a trip to space, what kind of tools would you pack? The Orlando Sentinel this morning looks at 60 new tools developed by engineers for the upcoming mission to the Hubble Telescope. To get a list of our favorite stories by email each morning, subscribe at patchpapers.com. That's also where you'll find the links to all of the stories I've talked about today.